<clears throat> Guys, I'm Sheena Quick with BSO and Out of the Box with Sheena Marie. I'm here with Panthers wide receiver Russell Shepard. Took five minutes out of his day after um, practice to kind of just chit chat with us about this weekend's game plan as well as how he feels the season's been going so far. So thank you for that. Yeah. So um, going into this game, you guys are both four and one. Uh, do you foresee any major offensive changes for you guys now that the offense has started to kind of click in the last two games for you guys? Um, no, we're gonna continue to keep doing what we're doing. You know, um, and that's play a style, of, a, style, a physical style of football. Be able to win our one-on-one -on -one matches. You know, one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one matchups on the outside, which um, I think Ke Kevin Benjamin. Um, Funch have been doing an amazing job, even a guy like Christian McCaffrey, being able to be mismatched on different linebackers, safeties, and um, run the football. You know, uh, offensively, man, until they stop it, until they force us to do something different, we're going to be pretty consistent and um, regular what we do from a week to week basis. Okay, and um, I th do you think a lot of the offensive growth that we've seen in the last two games from you guys comes from just Cam getting more receptions and kind of shaking some of the rust off of just not being able to be at full strength throughout the preseason and the offseason? I think that plays a part in it. That's not the complete reason, but I think okay. that played a big part in it, you know, allowing him to get um, in game time situations. Um, the one thing that you can't, um, you can't, one thing you can't miss I guess what I'm trying to say is getting game reps, game live reps, putting can't a guy in a situation. Simulated. You can't simulate that. That's right. You can't simulate that. You know? He's doing an amazing job, man, with um, believing in what he can do, staying true to um, you know what he knows how to do, and um, that's be a playmaker, distribute the rock, and be able to control the game. And uh, you know, I know the first few games, everyone wanted to believe that he was frustrated or he was not playing with how he's accustomed to playing. He trusts the process and um, through him trusting the process, he's been able to have, you know, really two big, you know, back-to-back -back games. Okay. Okay, another question for you. Um, I know, you know, the rookies came in here with a whole lot of fanfare and things like that and people were having some kind of concerns that Christian McCaffrey hadn't scored. Um, but, you know, you and I and a lot of other people that watch football have seen the intangibles of not just what McCaffrey's able to do, but all of you guys as far as even when you're not getting the ball, you know, hitting your blocks, being physical off the line and things of that nature. Um, is that one of the keys to Thursday night's game for you guys? Yeah, definitely. I think that's a part of being in this offense. You got to be interchangeable. You got to be able to do different things, um, be able to make up. Um, make up for a time of not having guys out there or be able to put yourself in um, different formations, different mismatches so defenses can't key off on certain things and having a guy like Christian, having a guy like a, a Funch who can play inside and outside even though he's a taller receiver right. or even having a quarterback like Cam Newton who can be able to get the ball, you know, run the ball and get the first down on third and one. Or, for example, you know, we had 31 this past um, Sunday, and you know, he had a big pass to Ed Dixon, you know what I'm saying? Because they thought we were going to run the football. Well, yeah, most people would think you're going to exactly. run football on so, third and one. You know, being able to have guys that can do different things, and um, you know, our offensive coordinator and our offensive staff doing an amazing job of putting guys in great situations so they can take advantage of, um, you know, I guess, I won't say mismatches, but be able to fully, fully utilize every guy's talent is, is a huge part of this offense because we have a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things. Confidence is a, part, a large part of, um, of the game on the field. How much did that play into, you know, I guess the rest of the game? Because that's a pretty gutsy call on third and one to pass. Um, the, just the, the coaching staff and the the play the people that were responsible for the play calling, just knowing that they had that type of faith and confidence in you guys, does that help or hurt, or do you just not even does, is it even just is it not a, a non factor when um, you're out there? I just think you know at times, man, when you're confident in a guy, you know there's going to be times where it looks amazing, and there's going to be times where it doesn't work. You know, um, you know there was times when um, Detroit went on the fourth and whatever because they trust their quarterback, right. they pay him a lot of money. He's probably one of the best, if not the best quarterback back in that franchise history and it didn't work for them and uh, we took chances and it worked out for us but uh, I mean you got a quarterback like Cam man he's a reigning MVP he's taken this, this organization and this football team to Super Bowl you know he's broken all type of records you know since him coming in as a, a rookie he's, he's done things that nobody in this league has done I mean it's hard not to have confidence in a guy like that and I think from a coaching staff um, it's just your judgment call or your decision whether you want to um, 
rely on that talent, rely on that person, and risk that type of play, or you just do, um, you do, I guess, you make the smart decision. You know, smart decision could be punting the ball, even though you have a talented quarterback. It could be, you know what I'm saying, um, throwing a screen, even though you have two big receivers on the outside, like a Funch or a KB. So I just think at the end of the day, it's a mixture of both. You know, it's, it's trusting the guy, having confidence in him, but at the same time, it's about making a better decision for the, out, the whole, you know, outcome of the game. Okay. And I won't go into too much detail, and I won't ask you to give too much detail either, but um, not only with you guys, but just teams around the league, the distractions off the field, what has helped you guys to stay focused? Do you rely more on the coaching staff or just on your teammates? Is it something that you guys kind of banded together, like, look, we're going to leave that there, do what we got to do on the field? Like, what are the, some of the coping mechanisms you guys have, have employed to stay focused? This is a close-knit football, uh, football team. You know, prior to me coming here, I was told that this locker room was as close as you possibly going to see in the league. Um, just knowing the veteran leadership, the mixture with the younger guys. So um, I just think um, it just speaks volume on the veteran leadership, man. Um, you know, coach staff did a good, coach staff done a good job of not really kind of making it out of a, an in-house problem. So um, between the, the coaching staff, the veteran presence, I think um, they both done a good job of not being able to create a, a distraction inside. Yeah, excellent. And um, some of the other things that happened. I saw that you're still talking and speaking with the media. Do you think that, that any of the things that happened last week are going to affect um, just, I guess, accessibility of the players and speaking and just Who knows? I think nature? it just depends on the person. Me, myself, you know, um, I think it doesn't affect me, you know what I'm saying? But I can't speak for other people. You just never know how things play out. Right. Now, quick, before we go, top five songs in your playlist that get you ready for games. Oh, man. Um, you know what? It's hard to give you a top five right now, but I will the say... Top five artists. artists. Is that easier? Um, it's hard. Give you a Drake. Um, give you a Lil Wayne. Um, Future. Yeah. Hey. Curtis. Curtis Blow. Those are the three I'm really listening to right now. Okay. Now, who do you got? Tupac versus Biggie. I'm a Tupac fan, man. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. That's Russell Shepard, wide receiver for the Panthers, having a sit-down with Sheena. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.